Hey guys, I'm Cindy Anderson. And I'm Ashlyn Flatt. Today we are here with the Superintendent Dr. Harris. And a very special guest, Liz Huntley, author of More Than a Bird, Dr. Harris. Good morning girls and hello everyone. Um, we're so excited to have Liz Huntley here today. She's a lawyer and an author of More Than a Bird. And Liz, I want to welcome you on behalf of our 2,190 students. <laughs> welcome to Dade County, home of the Wolverines. Well, thank you very much. Thank you for having me. Well, we just had a terrific assembly this morning where you spoke to the entire student body about your personal story. And uh, you certainly gave us a lot of hope. And uh, when you talked about choices and you defined you. Um, you want to talk a little bit about that for others who maybe weren't in the assembly? Yes, yeah, so my message is really uh, one about hope really and, and the fact that no matter what circumstances you go through in life, you can rise above them. Uh, it, it's based, it's a, it's a story of faith. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I, a lot of, of, of the credit in my life I give to God mm -hmm. uh, for Him loving me through people mm -hmm. and people come into our lives and they help us through some very tough times and for me it was a childhood marred by drugs and sexual abuse and poverty and uh, physical abuse domestic violence foster home just a myriad of terrible things that happened in my childhood but I'm sitting here today as a lawyer a mom a wife and and a child advocate and someone who really cares and so this morning the message was about all the kids knowing and anybody knowing really that you define you. You get mm -hmm. to decide who you want to be no matter what happened or no matter what has happened in your life even if you're outside of school. Uh, you still have control. I, 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 you know, you and I spent some time together last night and if mm -hmm. you recall, I said, um, I said I'm still growing up, right? Right. Uh, we, we're continuing. <laughs> we're continuing to evolve, and mm -hmm. and we're evolving as people and who we are. And and there are some things I'm not proud of that different things I may have done in life. And uh, and then there are things that I'm really proud of. And now I'm here and working towards the next phase of life. So it, it's it's a continual process. Well, I took notes because I'm a student. I'm a lifelong <laughs> learner too. And so I took notes while you were speaking, and I read your beautiful book. I could not put it down. Um, it's such a message of hope and inspiration um, to everyone. It was to me. It made me want to do more, to, uh, to grow, and to learn more. Um, you talked about, um, you know, learning. You said, I, I read and I learned. I got a job as soon as I was old enough. I picked positive friends. And you know, the part about reading and learning um, and making the choice mm -hmm. to be a learner, that affects everyone, whether you are 25, 35, 15. Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And you know, and, and the thing that we have now in this age is that little simple thing we call the internet. Yes. And, mm -hmm. and it's, it's a powerful thing. I mean, there's so many ways that we can better ourselves as individuals, mm -hmm. as, as where we would like to go, because we have the ability to be able to put our hands on information within seconds, you know, uh, mm -hmm. to learn. I, I certainly do that. I, mm -hmm. I uh, look at different articles online, mm -hmm. and when I'm having some challenges in different aspects of my life to get mm -hmm. some guidance on people that have either been through it or that have helped people through it. And mm -hmm. uh, there's so much to be learned from just mm -hmm. listening to the testimony of others. And uh, in your book, uh, you talk about um, a teacher who said, uh, Liz, you're reading frivolous reading, or I call it frivolous reading, just reading for enjoyment, which is good. Mm -hmm. But he said he wanted to encourage you to read biographies. Yes. So I, I had a sixth grade history teacher, and I read all the time. And at that mm -hmm. time, I didn't know what to read, so I was reading Stephen King and Dean Koontz, these really score, scary, gory. Uh -huh. And it was because my home life was so bad, reading mm -hmm. was my escape. And so I just read whatever I could get my hands on that would take me into another world. And he recommended that I read biographies because everybody has a story. And, mm -hmm. and a lot of people have been wherever all, where all of us are. Mm -hmm. and, and to read those powerful stories about people that overcame adversity uh, in their life and, and how their lives were then later used to impact society and help others. 
uh, was very powerful for me and, and it really encouraged and motivated me and, and helped me see that I could make it in spite of my circumstances. So uh, I, I strongly encourage everyone to read Wagner, no matter what mm -hmm. age, because the human story is a mm -hmm. powerful thing and there's nothing that motivates you more than to see a real person uh, that's mm -hmm. overcome something that you're struggling with yourself. Right. And um, one last thing that I wanted to bring up in my notes, um, you know, you kept saying the word choices. You get to decide. Mm -hmm. You define you. Um, any thoughts uh, to encourage people who maybe they've made bad choices? Mm -hmm. And is it too late for them? How can they get back on track? As we talked about mm -hmm. continuing to evolve, mm -hmm. it is never too late. Mm -hmm. It is never too late. I know people that, for example, my husband's always wanted to be a teacher. He's gone down a completely different career path mm -hmm. in his life. And then 15 years ago, he decided, I'm going to do this. And mm -hmm. he's a school, so he did a completely different career. And then I know uh, people like my sister, who, uh, my middle sister, who uh, was had involved in a life of crime at a very early age, mm -hmm. juvenile court, then later adult prison. And, uh, you know, it was without her children at a young age because she was incarcerated. And she made a decision that she wasn't going to do that anymore, that, mm -hmm. uh, that she was going to live a positive, honest life uh, where she wouldn't have to look over her shoulder or be worried about getting in trouble mm -hmm. because she's doing things that she knew she shouldn't mm -hmm. be doing and, uh, and be a mother to her children. Mm -hmm. And I'm so proud of her for that. Uh, yes. it, it, it takes a lot to, A, first of all, acknowledge you're wrong, mm -hmm. and then B, more importantly, to do something about of do something about it mm -hmm. and not lay down and wallow in it and say, woe is me and, and my life is over. And so now that same person that committed crimes and, mm -hmm. and served time in jail, she's now, uh, her son has graduated from college. Uh, she's got a daughter that just graduated from high school that's working and trying to go to school. Mm -hmm. She runs a nonprofit that it, at her church, an organization that helps a young mothers, young teen mm -hmm. mothers as they're struggling through, how do I continue this journey of life now that I've got the weight of a child? Yes. And, and what does that look like for me now and how they can still succeed in mm -hmm. spite of having made, you know, that mm -hmm. choice that led to them having a child at an early age. So, you know, she is taking what she's been through and she's actually helping people mm -hmm. with it. Using and it for good. She's using mm -hmm. it for good. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, and one of the happiest people I know is just a joy to be around her. Mm -hmm. There was a time when it wasn't, right. you know, when, when she was bitter about, you know, the hand that life had dealt us because of our parents and, and our childhood and, you know, just sort of angry at the world. And, and, uh, and she has now embraced this new place for her. Mm -hmm. And it's a beautiful thing. That's wonderful. Well, to everyone out there watching this video, um, again, I'm here with my friend, an inspirational uh, lady, Liz Huntley, and her book is More Than a Bird, and you can Google um, Liz Huntley or go to her website, More Than a Bird, and read more about Liz. And uh, again, her message is a message of hope that you can make a choice to do, uh, do better, to learn more, to evolve, because you define you. And thank you, Liz, for coming to Dade County and uh, sharing your beautiful story with our students. Thank you for having me.